hikers are making their way up the incline for the grand reopening. Uh, even in this weather, you know they're out there. It opened today after being closed since early August for repairs. KRDO News Channel 13's Angelica Lombardi is live at the base of the incline with an inside look. Good afternoon, Angelica. Good afternoon, John and Dana. Well, unfortunately, the snow is really starting to set in now, so we haven't seen too many people go up, but you can see one person's going up right now. But earlier this morning, it was packed. People lined up as early as 7 a.m. to get up on this incline, and many people tell us they're excited for these new improvements. The wait is over. Uh, Super really excited. excited. Very excited, yes. Been waiting for three months. For some avid hikers, they consider this trail a second home. All is five days a week, yeah. at least. To celebrate the reopening, Olympic hopeful Trinity Griffin cut the ribbon alongside Mayor John Southers. And I'm so excited to get to be the first person to go up it and to carry the Olympic City flag. For Griffin, she considers this milestone one of her own. We used to do this to train for wrestling all the time, um, but my knees were, I had a lot of knee injuries, and so I had two, I had a bilateral Fulkerson's osteotomy in 2012, and I haven't been able to climb the incline since then. A different challenge was for crews. They spent three months working to make this trail more safe. It's extremely challenging planning it out and executing, making sure that you time things with the helicopter. At the base of the incline, the changes aren't as noticeable, but as you start to make your way up this trail, you can really start to see the improvements. We built a lot of retaining walls, uh, built a lot of erosion control diversions to get the water off of the incline so it's a sustainable. Uh, trail. Now, while hikers make their way up the one mile ascent, they can do so with safety in mind. This is so exciting. You know, obviously, look at the crowd of people here. There's a lot of excitement. Uh, this is such an asset to the community. It won't stop there. More improvements are on the way. The city was granted a $2 million fund for repairs next year. Because, you know, do they want us to? And there have been some changes made to parking this year. If you want to park at the bar trail lot, that is now $20, but you have to make reservations online. And if you don't make a reservation and buy a ticket, you will be fined $70. But the incline is now back open, so come on out. People are here and people are excited. Reporting live in Manitou Springs, Angelica Lombardi, KRDO News Channel 13.